Okay, so for those of us who actually use Bybit, I'm going to be teaching us how you can actually, um, how you can verify, how you can set up your Google Authenticator and where you can actually locate your P2P on a Bybit. So let's go to my Bybit account. So I already have an account, so I just automatically log in. So for those who just download it, first of all, you need to create an account first, verify your email, then you log in. So when you log in, you will see this page. So when you come here, you can see the menu option where you have your profile at the top left here. So you click on it and then... Um, so this is how my own looks like is verified because I'm already verified. So, but if you're not verified yet, it will show not verified. So you click this arrow here, this arrow here, you click on it. So now you can see profile. You can decide to add a profile picture. Then you can also add uh, your nickname, whatever nickname that you want to use. UID, now identification level, level one verified. So I'm verified. So if you are not, since your account is still new, so it's assumed that you're not verified yet. So when you click on, we are just click now. You, you you will see this page you will see the process to actually verify yourself that is to complete your kyc verification that's the document that the document that the documents that are actually accepted whether your bvn utility bill or whatever so if you provide if you can provide any of them and follow the procedure then you your kyc will be successful and then so we'll go back so this is for security so for um those actually looking for how they can actually set up their 2fa verification that is their google authenticator so you click on this um set up 2fa verification here so you click on it so um we are here so my security level is very high so I've already verified my email. So if you haven't verified your email, you need to you click on this and then you you be you have to link your email address by verifying it. Mine is already linked. So now for phone number, you click on it, then you link your phone number. After when you click on phone number, you link it. So the second one here is Google two FA Google two FA authentication authentication. So you click on this authentication. Mine is not done yet, so I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So so this is um they've sent a verification code to my email to the email i registered for this by bit so i have to go to my email now to copy the authentication authentication code they sent to me and then i'll come back here to paste it so okay okay so um so let me go to my email and copy it then i'll come back here and paste it okay so this is my email so i'll click here so this is the, verific the verification code they sent to me so i'll copy it so i'll copy and then i'll go back to my bitgate account So I'll click I'll paste so automatically it has pasted and then they say continue because I've already installed Google Authenticator. If you haven't installed your Google Authenticator app, you go to if you use an Android, you go to Google Play Store and install and search for Google Authenticator and install it. If you use um iPhone, you go to App Store and install Google Authenticator. So now this is the setup key that I need. So um I have to copy this setup key and then I'll go back to my Google Authenticator app to paste this key so that I can actually set it up. So let me go to my Google Authenticator app. Come with me. But I've actually you can see that I've copied it. After copying it, um, I'll click on next. Okay, so before before this, now I'm excited to put a code here. I will not put the code that I just copied now. So the code I just copied now, I have to go to my Google Authenticator. So I'll search for Authenticator. So I'll open my Authenticator app. Remember, I copied the setup key that was on display. Now, since I don't have a buy bit, I've not set up my buy bit yet. So I'll click on this plus sign here. So I'll click on it. Then I'll click on, you know, there are two options here. Scan a QR code, enter a setup key. So I'll click on enter a setup key because I copied the setup key. So now code name, I'll use by bits. I'll use by bits as my setup key name. So now I'll come here and paste. This is the, uh, I'll come here and paste the setup key that I copied from my bit gate. So this is it. So I pasted it. So now I'll click on add. You can see, you can see that by bits is also added here. So now I'll copy this code here. I'll copy the code that, that is shown under this by bits. I'll copy it. Then I'll go back to my by bit account so i've set it up so i'll now paste the code i copied from i'll now paste the code i copied from my google authenticator i'll now paste it okay sorry i'll click on get code so i'll copy it here and then i'll come back here and paste it down so it's set up so um my you can see that's my google 2fa for by is set up successfully so that is how you set up your 2fa for for by so you can see other options down here. You can see secure transaction approval. You can decide to set that up. Fund password. This fund password is very necessary because you will need it when you want to make a withdrawal or complete your P2P transaction. So you have to configure it. Set a password that you can always remember because if you forget it, you cannot proceed with whatever transaction you want to perform. So that is very important. So um, next, you can check your account setting to see your profile in case you want to get to but there is no need for you to come to this place anyways. So this is it for, uh, for Bybit verification and the 2FA authentication setting. So now, Let's look at where P2P is. Okay, so when you come back, this is your profile here. So you can see P2P trading down here. So you click on P2P trading. So you click on it. 
okay so um this is profile here so in this profile um you can see sorry you can see that my email is verified sms that is my phone number is verified i've also passed the kyc verification so you need to pass all those verifications so now payment method i haven't added mine so if you want to add your you need to add your payments method to perform p2p on bybit so you click on add so you click on payments method then you click on add now and then you enter your um payment method you choose payment method you choose your bank the bank that you use so you choose the bank that you use select here you can just decide to assets sorry so you select the bank that you use then you enter your bank account number and then bank branch is not is not compulsory so you can just leave it so you enter the bank with the bank name so that's it so that's it for you know adding your bank so that's it for adding your bank details so you go back after you've done this so now after you've added your bank account details you go back so now if you want to if you want to actually buy or sell you can see the buy sell um options here so now it's assuming that you want to buy usdt with naira so you leave it on this buy then you search for uh sellers that you can actually buy from so now um first of all what i look out for when i want to trade with someone is i look out for the number of orders that the person has completed and the completion percentage so now this first person here has completed 1619 orders and 95 at 95 98 percent um completion rate now this second person 55 orders no if i want to trade i will not trade with this person that has 55 orders so now if i want to trade i can i can manage to trade with this person that has 597 orders 100 percent completion rate so this person also looks good this abba exchange so he has completed 6574 trades orders at 99 percent completion rate so this person is actually very good and he has done he requires um whoever he's trading with to be verified first so um this other one has completed 7000 301 orders at 99 percent so i look at these things before i actually choose who i want to trade with so if you want to buy you, so you click on buy so when you click on buy you enter the amount that you want to buy in naira so if you if you want to buy with fifty thousand naira or whatever or twenty thousand well first of okay so this person's lowest minimum is two million naira so no i'm not going to work with this person so let me look at okay so this this one has 91 no 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 so i'm looking for someone with okay this one's on mm, let me look for someone else let me look for people with lower limit orders. So you also consider their limit orders as well. If it's okay, so this is a full attack. Oh, hold it. This full attack, his limit is 50,000. 50,000 to 101 naira. 101 naira. Sorry, 101,000 naira. So I can, okay, let me, so I click on buy. And I click on 50,000 because, so I click on 50,000. Then I'll click, so what I'm going to receive with this 50,000 is 33.3445 USDT. So if I click on buy, if I click on buy, his bank details will be displayed. So when his bank details is displayed, I'll need to pay into his into that bank account the exact amount, this fifty thousand that I've imputed. So I'll, I'll pay into his bank account the fifty thousand naira, and then after I've finished making the payments, I'll come back. There will be a page that will be displayed showing paid. So I'll click on that page. So after clicking on that page, I'll need to wait for him to release the that's three points three four four USDT to me. So after he has um released, after he has released it, so I'm done with it with this aspect. So after he has released it, what I need to do is the the fund will be in my unified um will be in my otc account so i'll have to transfer from otc to my spot account so i'll click on assets so i'll click on assets so you can see deposits withdraw transfer so because the money i just um the money i just uh bought the usd i just bought from p2p now is, is is going to be in funding account and i want to convert the usdt to bnb so i need to transfer from my funding account to my unified trading account so i'll click on transfer so after clicking on transfer um they'll ask you from where to where so because i want to transfer from my funding account to my unified trading account so i'll choose the coin i want to transfer usdt so i want to transfer the usdt i just purchased from p2p i want to transfer it then i'll click they'll ask you for the amount you want to transfer so you just click on max that is the maximum amount so when you click on it it's assuming that you have money because me i don't have money here so it's assuming that you have money if you have money here when you click on max and then you chose this thing make sure that it's actually the way it's supposed to be so you click on confirm so when you click on confirm the money will be transferred to your unified trading account for you to purchase bnb for you to now convert the usdt to bnb so how do you convert the bnb to the usdt to bnb so now um you go to you click on this trade here just you click on trade so when you click on trade you can see spot is already on spot here so now you can see btc usdt because that is not what you want to trade so you tap on this uh, arrow here and then you type bnb so you can see the different options that are popping up when you type bnb so because we want to buy bnb using usdt so you click on this bnb usdt pair here so you click on it so now um after clicking on it 
So they will ask you, this is the rate at, you want, at which you want to buy the BNB. And then this is quantity of BNB. So because you might not know the quantity that your USDT, the quantity of BNB that your USDT can actually buy for you. So you just come to this place where you have this other value. Then enter the amount of USDT that you want to purchase the BNB with. So you can put maybe 30, if you have 33 USDT or 50 USDT. So you put 50 USDT. So 50 USDT now, you can come back to this quantity to see the quantity of BNB that this 50 USDT here is going to purchase for. So you can see 50 USDT will give you 0 0.0525 BNB. So when you... When you, when you put this USDT, make sure that you have up to 50 USDT. Then you click on buy. So when you click on buy, automatically the trade will go through because you did not set limit order. So the trade will go through and then your BNB will be lying in your wallet. So when, then when you go back, you click on assets. So when you go back and click your assets, then you will see the amount that you have in your wallet. The BNB will appear. So now you click on withdraw and click on withdraw here. So these are the coins that I have in this wallet. So now, since you've already purchased, for you that is doing this, since you've already purchased a $50 worth of BNB, you will see the BNB here. The BNB will pop up here, will show in this place. And then you click, you will need to tap on that BNB. So when you tap on BNB, let me just use this hamster. So I tap on this hamster. So they will ask you to choose um, the coin that you want to transfer. Of course, you tapped on hamster, but you're supposed to tap on BNB because that is what you want to withdraw to your trust wallet or token pocket. So you tap on it and then you go to your trust wallet like we've done before. Copy your BNB address from your trust wallet or token pocket. Then you will come here and paste that wallet. So you paste the wallet here and then you will choose network. Of course, uh, what you will choose is BNB, BEP20 or Binance Smart, BNB Smart Chain Network. So you choose BNB, uh, in this network pack, you choose um, BNB Smart Chain Network. You have to ignore this. So you enter the amount of BNB that you want to withdraw minimum so you click you just click on max here so you click on maximum and then you are withdrawing from unified trading accounts so once everything is set up like this remember you, this is the coin you choose the coin bnb that you want to withdraw this is hamster it's just for example because you're supposed to choose bnb so let me just let me just put bnb anyways so that you know what we're doing so you choose bnb coin you paste you could go to your trust wallet or token pocket copy the wallet address paste here then you choose network so you see bsc bep20 so you paste it you choose that one and then you enter the amount of bnb that you want to withdraw so you just click on maximum so the total amount of BNB you have in this your Bybit account will show here once you click on maximum, and then you choose where you want to withdraw from. So is we assume is um is you you are withdrawing from unified trading from your unified trading account, and then once this is set up, you click on withdraw, and then you follow the you put your you verify your email, they will send you a verification code in your email, and then you have to do the Google authentication thing where you have to go back to your Google authentication, copy the code and put it there, and then put your font code, and then you're good to go. So that is it for Bybit. I hope you understand. If you don't, please carefully watch the video so that you understand. Follow each step, you know, gradually. And then if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask in the comments. Thank you.